Hello, this is Jack again, and uh, I want to give you guys a little update video on um, the Sonowatch video I've put out a couple of weeks ago. And um, as you can see, I've built uh, a whole guitar using uh, Sonowatch, and I'm kind of working together with the company uh, Swisswood Solutions, who make the Sonowatch. And um, yeah, I want to uh, share my my experience and uh, show you the guitar. So, um, as you can see, um, I made um, the fretboard out of uh, maple solo wood and um, the set plate also and the frame actually is uh, walnut and uh, it's the first time I've used walnut and yeah, so they got uh, now different different uh, base materials, so to say. So um, yeah, you can have maple, walnut, and uh, they also gave me some um, spruce. And um, as I told you in the last video, they take these woods and they compress it, and um, then the wood has no no more pores. And it's um, much denser, much harder, and um, it's got uh, improved uh, tonal qualities. And um, so this uh, spruce is actually uh, heavier than than the the, the maple or the the, uh, uh, the walnut. So um, quite interesting, and. Yeah, I kind of uh, like this concept of uh, using uh, local local woods and uh, make them more more available for for guitar building. So it's quite quite hard to uh, uh, get get like uh, tone woods, uh, the local tone woods. Like there's there's only uh, walnut and uh, um, spruce and uh, maple and maybe plum, and um, that's about it. So it's quite quite hard for me as a guitar maker and a designer to um, have like a variety of uh, woods uh, that I'm working with. So uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm quite happy, happy to, um, yeah, for this uh, product. So um, I don't have to use like the, the tropical woods or the uh, ebonese and mahogany and uh, you name it. And I don't uh, think it fits to my, my kind of philosophy um, because, as you might know, this body, <laughs> which is like my trademark, is uh, made out of uh, hemp. It's called hempstone and it's 100% uh, hemp. Um, and uh, it's like hemp in water and it's uh, basically in uh, um, uh, uh, like an alternative to, to carbon fiber or glass fiber materials and um, on this this particular one uh, I've used some uh, hepstone that's uh, mixed with uh, some some coal like some coal particles in it and it's, it gets this kind of uh, nice uh, graphite graphite shiny look and uh, it's also um, I didn't really sand it any or flatten it or anything so it's it's quite quite gives quite a good good grip so that's that's very nice and I think it yeah, feels kind of kind of nice and uh, yeah to show you the, the rest of the guitar so this is the uh, neck I've used some uh, roasted uh, bird's eye flamed maple so <laughs> this one got every, everything and um, yeah I think it's quite quite nice, and uh, of course, uh, someone what here, 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 and uh, the top is um, yeah Swiss spruce. All right, so I'm gonna try to play something for you, and uh, yeah, so you you can uh, maybe get an idea what this one sounds like, and I try to give my best.
really like about uh, the Sony Watch, uh, it actually sounds pretty good. And uh, one of the most uh, impressive features is uh, the sustain. So uh, this guitar is uh, quite quite heavy because uh, the Sony Watch is, is uh, basically um, yeah denser than uh, ebony and it's quite a lot of it and uh, the body was quite uh, quite thick and uh, the neck is also quite heavy so um, that also um, adds up to uh, to the, the sustain of the of the guitar but um, yeah maybe show you what the sustain looks like so I got this um, spectral analysis spectroid app and uh, it records like the spectral um, frequencies and uh, yeah it's uh, nice to visualize uh, the sound of the guitar so uh, I play some strings and uh, hopefully you can see uh, see the sustain okay now I'm gonna uh, show you uh, the sustain on the uh, spectroid app and um, yeah just to visualize um, the tonal spectrum and the uh, sustain of the different strings. So here we go. Yeah, so as you can see, it's uh, got quite a quite a nice sustain, and the uh, overtones are quite uh, sustaining quite long. It's uh, quite unusual, and uh, yeah, thumbs up. So yeah, the uh, sonar uh, gives quite quite a sustain. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you still hear it, but uh, yeah, it's still it's still ringing. And uh, yeah, that's uh, because of the, the high density and uh, low damping qualities of the uh, Sonar Watch. And uh, I think it also got like a pretty pretty fast attack and uh, quite quite soft and um, a round warm warm tone. And uh, yeah, I, I really really like that stuff. And uh, as I said in the last video, it's um, quite, quite, or can be quite difficult to 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 work with. And uh, yeah, on the 
on the fretboard actually. Very good. I made this uh, this uh, fretboard out of uh, the maple maple uh, zone wood, and as you can see, it's it's got quite uh, quite a shine to it, and I just just sanded it. So uh, yeah, you can uh, sand it quite quite high. It's like to twelve thousand uh, grit. And uh, basically, you don't have to to finish it or anything, uh, and it's still it's already quite quite shiny. So um, on this neck, uh, I also got the uh, walnut uh, version, and um, I'll try to to show you how uh, how you can uh, how it is to work uh, with the uh, walnut. And I can tell you, it's uh, not quite as hard, and it's it's much more. Um, um, it's much more brittle, so uh, you gotta be uh, more careful uh, routing it. And um, the um, the spruce is also uh, much more brittle than the uh, maple, and uh, it, it, it's like a good and bad. It's 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 uh, much easier to to kind of carve by hand or with the chisel or plane it or whatever. But uh, you gotta be careful with, uh, with when you're using a router. Router bit uh, kind of uh, tends to to chip off. So uh, it's also the case with the uh, the walnut. But um, yeah, it's always uh, some positives and some negatives. And uh, what I really really also like about um, the whole Sonowood thing, it it's got like kind of uh, yeah. Uh, own character. It's it's quite uh, quite nice. It got these uh, cross stripes and uh, quite uh, deep uh, deep looking uh, fiber. And uh, also um, it tends to to kind of re reflect the um, the light in a kind of different way. So you get yeah, much much more like a uh, three dimensional look on it and. Uh, yeah, it's hard to explain, but uh, yeah, I kind of kind of like it. And yeah, I hope to um, do some more uh, research on, on the material. And um, I've visit, uh, visited uh, their, their company in uh, Switzerland. And uh, yeah, they're still in, in developing and they uh, they make a lot of different woods. And also, they made some, some veneer and uh, I'm going to try Maybe I'm gonna try to make like a double top guitar with like a sonar which we need, which would be quite um, quite resistant to to scratches from like finger playing uh, finger picking style uh, guitarists and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to that and yeah that's about it uh, I hope you found it uh, interesting and useful and see you guys next time. Bye. So a quick demonstration on uh, this uh, uh, walnut um, sound wood and as you can see it's not the sharpest tool but Yeah, it's quite uh, okay to work with, to say uh, the least. <laughs> uh, it's much, much uh, better to, to carve than uh, the maple. And uh, yeah, it's not, not that, that bad. And as I said, it's um, the best thing about it. It's um, um, the finishing process is quite fast because it has no pores and uh, yeah, you need no filling and can sand it quite high so uh, yeah I'm using French polish and uh, that's like super fast. So this is uh, some Sono Watch maple for the comparison and as you can see it's, it's much 
much harder to carve. And the fibers kind of kind of uh, glued together much more than the uh, the walnut. I also got some uh, screws to show you. And as you can see, kind of chips are off quite easy. And uh, yeah, it's super, super, uh, super easy to, to cut. And uh, but you gotta be careful uh, routing it. But yeah, that's that's the three solar wood. Solar wood. <laughs> And uh, I hope um, it helps.